so guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl again zion um how is everyone doing if you're new to this channel again my name is zion so today i bring to you a story right guys um i must say this is about johnson suleiman if you don't know who apostle johnson suleiman is it's a Nigerian pastor or apostle that usually make headlines for controversial things like um, preaching a gospel and demonstrating how money is going to appear in your, in your pocket or in your purse, um, jubilating over the fact that there's pandemic and, and, and it's, it prays that the, the pandemic should not end because in, in the pandemic he has bought his third jet um, and then things like you know, so I many just controversial stuff. And he is so known to have scandals with girls. And he is married. He's married. <clears throat> so I've I've talked about this Apostle Suleiman in the past. I think I have about four or five videos. And two of my videos he he's brought them down because those videos that I, I made, I made those videos with evidence and I inserted the evidence in my video and I was asked to bring that video down. So he reported my video. It's been a while, I haven't talked about him, um, but today, the reason I'm bringing this story today because this man won't just leave the news. He won't just, I mean, what is this thing that, you know, a particular man of God will be making the news all the time, all the time about one particular thing. There are so many other men of God out there. Not to say that they don't do terrible things as well, but this particular man of God, there's too much that he does as far as associating himself with single women or even married, but mostly single women. There's a lot of, and everything I, I, I'm saying today is allegedly because I cannot prove it. But if you guys know this blog, blogger, this lover, y'all know when this, when this blog brings news, 95, 99 times out of 100, it is always legit or true. Or at least, if it's, if it's not true at that moment, it's only a matter of time. And the truth will come out I and mean, it is going to align with what he has we have reported or blocked or blocked before so you guys stretch the point right there's this actress in ghana called moisha moisha bodong it's a ghanaian actress moisha bodong um is is said to be having mental problems right now and they say allegedly allegedly it's as a result of having had an affair with apostle johnson suleiman <clears throat> i'm gonna insert her pictures here and at the end of this this story because i bring to you two different stories that have to do with apostle johnson suleiman and that's to do with women so at the end of this particular story i'm going to insert a footage where you can see Moisha. Evident, it's evident that she, she has mental problems. Mind you guys, it's not a movie. She wasn't acting in a movie. She really has mental problems. All right? Wait till the cover of Africa. See, person don't run mad. She don't run mad. So Moisha just have this, this the, it is said that she had a, something to do with Apostle Johnson Suleiman and the result of that relationship is what she's, she's having right now, she's experiencing right now, which is mental problems. Very beautiful girl. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. Very beautiful girl. It's like this apostle has a thing for beautiful women. <laughs> but then I ask myself, what kind of a man of God? You know the Bible says, in the last days, many will come in my name. Even 
demonstrating signs and wonders, many will come in my name. That's why the Bible says we should test every spirit to make sure that they are of God. Test every spirit. Just because somebody has a mega church and is preaching to thousands of people every now and then, I hope that this video is not recorded. I hope that he doesn't bring, I mean, this video is not reported. I hope that he doesn't bring down this video, but I just have to bring this news and I don't have any joy bringing this kind of news. There's a lot of bloggers out here that have made it a point of, I've made it like their duty to come every day and sit on their platform. All they do is they analyze Apostle Johnson Suleiman. They talk about him, his atrocities, the issue that he, that he, he had with Stephanie Obodu, the one that actually brought him to the limelight of, as someone that, you know, flirts a lot with women. And mind you guys, this man, this man of God is married. He's married. So like I said, I asked myself, why only him? Why is, why is it that so many people are wrong and only this man of God is right? Because there's a lot on lot of stories about this man of God associating himself with women. A lot of times, the bloggers that have reported about this, they've come with evidence. You see him chatting with a woman on WhatsApp, text messages, they come with evidence. Why would you as a man of God be putting such a stain on your name and in a, on a regular base? On a regular base, guys. If you're not hearing anything about Apostle Johnson Suleiman this month, the next month, I bet you the third month you're going to start hearing something. Something else will come up that he's involved in. And those things, they're never good things. They're never good things. So, to wrap up this story, this is what happened to this, this, this actress. Her name again, you guys can look her up. Her name is Moisha Boudouin. I'm going to try to insert, insert her name there. It's a Ghanaian actress that had an involvement with this set man of God, and as a result of that, she's going on the streets mad. She don't run Kolo. She know they well upstairs. At all. Some go and some die. Some of these girls go and they die because of the wrong men they sleep with. They take our, our glory. You know they take our glory. God, God, when God, God created us, God has given us all of us wealth and power. All these men do is to sleep with us and take our glory and give us peanuts. And give us peanuts. All the monies they give to us are things that but the devil makes us God has blessed some of us, this beautiful woman with beauty, big butters, breasts and everything. It doesn't mean that you have to use it to entice men. You don't use it to entice men. Don't let the devil make you think, say, selling your body. Or don't let anybody make you think, say, selling your body will take you to riches. It doesn't take you to riches. Can't you see most of us, these girls, they get be beer, business is beer, and go ye. Think about it. It's because of where the money is coming from. It's not coming from a good place. It's coming from the devil. You might see some of them wearing tie, looking what... You don't know what they do behind closed doors to make their money. So if you don't give your life to Christ, these young girls, this is Maurice Boudon, Moisha Boudon. They used to call me slave queen. Now I'm gonna to move to the next story. This story has to do with another actress. It's like this man of God has a thing for actresses. I don't know. I don't know. But this actress, I even remember. Her name is, um, this actress, her name is Halima, Halima Bubaka. I remember Halima Bubaka back in the day. Brown skin girl. There's a movie that he did with my husband. That movie is 
loyal enemies you guys can look it up here on youtube loyal enemies you see halima there you see a true real complexion from what she is right now that's her picture this is what she looks like right now but the reason i'm talking about halima as well is because halima got entangled with this same man of god if you visit just lovers page you're going to see lots and lots of messages that halima i'm going to insert a footage of halima at the end of this story so you see for yourself so watch this video to the end guys so what is going on with halima some years ago halima had this issue where her stomach would grow big and look like someone that's pregnant So Halima, her stomach grew this big. After some time, she came out, the, the stomach went back down. And then she came out now and said that she had a baby. I don't know if you guys remember this story. I think it was like 2019 or thereabout when this thing happened. And so she came out talking about she, she'd had the baby, that she was pregnant and she'd had a baby. But that story was not true. It wasn't, it wasn't, she was never pregnant. She never had any baby. What happened is Halima's stomach just started growing. And she herself is saying that she started having all these issues as a result of having had an entanglement with this man of God. And then she came back and suddenly she started feeling pain from the pain of stomach grow, grow to the size it was deflated and then started growing back to where it looks again like a pregnant woman and then she's so much in pain right now she if you go to her tiktok account this story that i'm talking about right now will not align with the pictures that she's posting on her tiktok account so the reason why alima came out and spoke and told the truth what is going on with her is because this lover investigated her and brought the story out so she decided to come and speak this is me so all i need to do when i want to make a video i wear makeup and uh, <laughs> you can see my hair this is you can call if you want to see me properly. What is the lesson in these two stories? My sisters out there, the younger ones especially, the university ones that think that or they say they don't have any money, they look going for sugar daddies or they're looking for someone that's going to sponsor them through school or cater for their needs and stuff like that be very careful the kind of men you amalgamate yourselves with because the story of Moisha and the story of Halima should be an example should be an example for you to see and think twice about going out there and getting yourself used by men especially married men whether it is normal sickness or illness 
It's really bad. It is sad. You look at her face. She herself, she says it. That she, when she comes out, when she comes to the camera, she puts on makeup. But behind that makeup, there's a face that is filled with trouble, pain, hurt, anger, frustration. She confessed that she's slowly dying. You see these two ladies? Let's pray for them. I'm telling you, you will never have the full understanding until you go through something. We will never know the reason why they took that option. Because maybe of all the options that they had, they had no better option than to do what they did. We cannot judge them. But if any of them should ever run into this video, my dear sisters, pray. God is a forgiving God. I'm going to end this video right here, guys. But I hope this is a teaching moment or a lesson for all of us. So, guys, this is all what I came to drop to you guys today. If you're on this platform for the very first time, thank you for stopping by. And if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit on the notification bell. That way you get alerts every time that video go up on this channel. And I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. So I'll see you guys in my next one. But stay safe. Stay blessed. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye, guys. You know, I've been busy with this crusade. And I heard that they are dragging me on social media. That the man is diabolic. Diabolic kill you there. Now me, one